Hi everyone, just a quick update to show you the setup which is all ready to go. Got the reactor which has the little mesh and the palladium inside and nothing else. I sucked out all of the air. I will suck out more air again in a second just in case any bits have come off the mesh in the meantime. Then I will be pumping hydrogen into here. So there won't be any air inside. So there's going to be no risk of any kind of explosion or anything. So the hydrogen will go in perfectly safe and then it's going to sit there with the nickel mesh and the palladium and we're just going to see what happens. The idea is that if cold fusion is going on, then the temperature inside will go above what it would normally like to sit at. So in this case today, it's currently at 185. So if it goes significantly above that, then there's an extra source of heat going on inside. At this point, I won't be able to say for sure that it's cold fusion. I need to do a few more experiments to contrast and compare, but it is a very important step towards showing that cold fusion is happening inside this reactor. So I'm going to get going. Okay, so I vacuumed out even more air stuff, bits and pieces that might have come off the nickel mesh as it's been heated. So that's all gone. Now I'm going to put some hydrogen in. Hydrogen is being made. Let's let it in. Okay, the hydrogen is being produced by the little machine, but there's still air inside here as well, so we want to kind of flush everything out. So we're going to do that by sucking it through the vacuum pump very gently. Currently, hydrogen is being made, it's passing out through here and out of the window. I'm doing this to make sure that I don't have any air left in the little kind of in the little connecting pipe. So we want to make sure only hydrogen is going in. And now we're ready to open up the valve and send the hydrogen into the reactor. And in we go. Okay, I'm going to switch off. Okay, I've closed the reactor. I'm going to close this valve, close that valve. Off with the pump. Off with the hydrogen generator. So now there is hydrogen inside the reactor. Only hydrogen, no air, so it's perfectly safe. I've currently got hydrogen inside this tubing still. So I want to get rid of that so that we're even more safe. Now we wait.